Here's one of the questions that I had for you early on. I, like I said, I think we've been partnering with you guys for three, of met, if not four years. So here's one of my questions that I asked you and I think um, Evan uh, a year or so ago. And that is, I, I notice on your, that you guys focus a lot or actually your work has done a lot out west where, you know, you're, you're concerned with grizzly bears being delisted or um, laws concerning uh, wolves or wolf hunting or even black mm-hmm. bears up in Maine. How does that relate to a guy like myself that hunts whitetail or waterfowl, mostly in the Midwest or down south? How do those two things yeah. correlate? Yeah, that's a great question because you know it's, and that's a hard, hard bridge to kind of um, to to cross for a lot of folks. Is hey, I'm just a deer hunter from Ohio. Why the heck do I need to care about black bear hunting in Maine or you know what's going on with grizzly bears in the Yellowstone ecosystem? Um, well behind a lot of those types of things are much bigger organizations than ourselves and much bigger than quite frankly, a lot of the, the conservation groups that are out there. Um, and these organizations are, you know, are animal rights or anti hunting organizations. Um, and what they do is, is they kind of slice away at the fringes. You know, we use, you know, phrases like, you know, death by a thousand cuts, you know, they're not going after deer hunting in Ohio or Iowa or Kansas but they're going after black bear hunting and they're going after predators or coyote hunting or, or little things around the edges that are smaller groups of hunters. Um, they're not going to go after, you know, waterfowl hunting tomorrow, things like that. Um, but what they do is they attack these areas where they see vulnerability, where they can divide us, where they can pick apart hunters and, and, and take away these little things bit by bit by bit. Um, their end game is really to, to stop hunting. I mean, that's really the end game. And it's, it's been quoted, you know, from, from many, many people, you know, on, on that side of things is that, you know, they want to, they want to stop trophy hunting. Um, that's HSUS is at the Humane Society of the United States. Um, that's one of their key tenants on their, um, their, their recently updated website is to stop, you know, quote unquote trophy hunting. And they use words like that, that are kind of divisive that, that pick things apart. But at the end of the day, they'd be just as happy if not a single one of us ever picked up a bow or ever picked up a gun to go out and go go deer hunting or squirrel hunting or rabbit hunting or anything like that. You know, so that's kind of why we need every single person that's out there that, that buys a hunting license to really pay attention and to really watch and stay engaged on these types of issues. Because there's a lot of groups out there that really don't like what we do, and they're just fundamentally opposed to it. 